So I have this great Lego Mindstorms robot inventor kit. And I open it up and it's just a bunch of parts. There's no instructions, nothing. I mean, you can make these five robots and that's it. But it, the instructions are online, but there's no, there's nothing to really go into depth on how to do it. Ah, what am I gonna do? So I found some resources that pretty much show me how to program this thing and make any type of contraption I want using the Robotic Inventor Kit. Find out how I did it, coming up next. Hello everybody, this is Dr. McBrick and I am here to show you how to get the most out of your Mindstorms Robot Inventor Kit. Now, I, you know, it comes with all this great stuff, right? But the problem is there aren't any instructions. I mean, Lego has a great app, but it really doesn't teach you how to build much more than just these five things. So if you really want to explore and, and learn robotics and learn all the ins and outs, you need somebody who can tell you what Mindstorms is about, particularly the Robot Inventor Kit. And I found two books, actually, two books that are amazing in teaching me all about robotics and all the different types of things I can do, and not just showing me models on how to do stuff, but actually teaching me how to build my own stuff. So um, let's talk about these two books. Now, the two books I'm gonna show you today are from No Starch Press. And just to be um, upfront with you, No Starch Press sent me these two books. Um, and it just so happened it was wonderful because I have this Mindstorm set here that um, I didn't know what to do with. And I was really wanting to work on it, but um, I just I couldn't figure it out. And so this was almost kind of like, uh, you know, like great luck. So they sent me these two books. Um, but I will tell you that all my opinions and um, impressions of these books are my own. And um, no one has uh, told me, you know, to give these books a good review or anything. But um, after looking at the books and going over them and stuff and reading them, um, I'm extremely impressed. Um, the first book is by Danny um, Beneditelli, and he is uh, a uh, amazing Mindstorm builder and inventor, uh, and uh, is is a, a wonderful teacher. Um, and so let's talk about his book first. Um, now you see this cool electric guitar, and this actually works. You slide it, it makes sounds, the whole works, all that kind of stuff. This book in particular is a book that's very set up very much like a textbook. However, it's not boring like a textbook. And take it from me, I'm a college professor. I know boring textbooks when I read them. This is not boring. As a matter of fact, um, Danny is really, really into um, the Lego robotics, and that's what he does. He teaches robotics um, at the high school level, at the consultancy level, um, and is extremely well educated in robotics and everything. And you can see this book um, encompasses everything he talks about is encompasses only stuff that's in the Mindstorms Robot Inventor Kit 51515. So when you start out, and I'm not going to show you the whole book, obviously, because I want you to buy the book. Um, it's a great, great book. Now, Danny has also um, been very, uh, he's worked as a consultant for Lego and all that kind of stuff, um, but he's an independent person. So this book is not sponsored by Lego. Neither one of these books are, um, nor are they, you know, endorsed or anything. But I'll tell you what, if you don't have this book, um, you're going to have a real hard time unless you are a computer programmer or someone who is into robotics. You're going to have a hard time figuring it out. But you can see here he has it developed into chapters. Um, and he uh, goes over each one of each, um, kind of uses examples of different models you can build to not only just so you can build cool, fun stuff like this baseball batter that I built that you saw at the beginning of the video, but um, that each time he does it, he, he, you're actually learning something new about Mindstorms and about how to program and how to do things. So the book is really well thought out and, and set up. Um, but as he goes through, what's interesting about his book, and I'm just going to show you this first page here. I mean, he has a great video up on his YouTube channel. By the way, I will be linking Danny's YouTube channel to um, my description. So please go check his YouTube channel out. 
He's got amazing stuff, not only just on the robotic kit, but on Spike Prime and on EV3 and a whole bunch of other Mindstorms. But you see how he takes you through each step and through each step is very educational. And he takes you through how to program um, the, the, uh, the, the, the mechanism that he, that he talks about. He talks about how to um, create the program. And then what I really like that he does is he explains what just happened. So he'll have you build something and then he'll say, now, what we just did was X, Y, and Z. And it's because of, you know, M, N, and P that this happened. And I, I just think that's really, really cool. So for instance, right here, what you've learned, a good example. It's very textbook book like, but it's not boring like a textbook. I'm telling you, it's not boring at all. Um, he talks about, you know, how to understand things, what you've learned, all that sort of thing. And he does it in a way that you do each step just as you would in Lego instructions. And you can see they're all laid out there. Um, and then as you go through, uh, you, uh, um, you again, you start to do the programming and everything like that. Um, he has a really cool transformer model that you can build in here. Um, and then when you're all done, um, he, uh, he, he teaches you, um, you know, about the programming. And then he teaches you how to hook it up to remote controls um, and all that sort of thing. And how to, um, to learn from what you've done. And so you can see everything is very clear. It's a very colorful book, step-by-step um, -step instructions. And again, what you've learned. He talks about what you've learned. So one of my things as a college professor that I truly believe in is that we learn by doing. And so as I built this, uh, this baseball batter here, I learned what I learned how to do it because of the way Danny explained it. Baseball batter, a gobbler, um, a transformer, a turtle, a whack-a-mole game. There's even a pinball game that uses this box and then you attach all the gears and mechanisms to it and it actually becomes a pinball machine. Um, and then the guitar, of course, that you see here. So I would recommend Danny Bennett, the, the Telly's book, the Lego Mindstorms Robot Inventor Activity Book. It is a great book. Um, you can go to nostarchpress.com or where fine books are sold and pick this up. It is a very, very instructional book. And to be quite honest with you, I'd have no idea what to do with Mindstorms if I did not read this book. Now, the second book I'm going to show you that has really helped me out is by Yoshihito Isogawa. Now, Yoshihito is an unbelievable legend in the field of Mindstorms and Technic. Uh, and as a matter of fact, there he is. And he has done all kinds of stuff. Um, he's worked with Lego and schools, museums, all that sort of thing. Um, he's done stuff on power functions. He has a whole book series of ideas for Technic, for uh, the non-electric model Technic stuff, Mindstorm, Boost, EV3, all stuff from No Starch Press. This is a really cool book. Now, where Danny's book was more of a textbook, this is not. This is an idea book. And for all of us Lego fans, we all know what idea books are. And I like this book, and it's a great complement to, uh, to Danny's book, um, the activity book, because what it does, it gives you 128 simple machines and clever contraptions. And that's not only what it does. It does more, and I'll explain that as we go along. But you can see how the book is uh, kind of divided. He talks about, you know, different types of things like using your sensors, using practical mechanisms, moving mechanisms, things that fly, you know, wings, other enjoyable types, things that spin, things that draw, automatic doors, and all kinds of stuff. And so you can see how he does it. Um, and his book is very, very visual. Now let me show you what I mean. So instead of step by step instructions, what you have are photographs. And those photographs, you're able to piece together certain things. So here he has something on a rotating motor. Want to build a real simple rotating motor? Here you go. Here's an idea. Here's what to do. Um, you can easily see the program. Very simple. You can set it up the way, uh, you know, using, again, everything, only stuff from the uh, um, robot, robot Inventor Kit. Easy for me to say. Um, and he just goes through and he, he teaches you how to do this. 
Um, and you know, every once in a while, he'll say a few things um, about uh, different things, like here about adjusting rotation speed, how to do it, why to do it, that sort of thing. Um, but uh, it's, it's basically a visual book to give you ideas. Tons and tons of eye candy if you're into Mindstorms. Um, and uh, uh, the nice thing is he always puts the programming down here so that you can go to the uh, Scratch program on the, uh, the, the LEGO Mindstorms app, uh, which is a really great program, by the way. But you can see all of the stuff he does. So not only, like, here's a bunch of moving things, right? You know, showing you, for instance, showing you a, a one-wheeled mechanism, a, a, a two-wheeled mechanism, a four-wheel, a steering, how to steer, um, and uh, how to make something that crawls. And so, in other words, you do come up with a lot of cool inventions and things like that when you're done, but at the same time, you learn how to build stuff. And that, to me, is really important. Because you know me, um, I have uh, you know a very, very big uh, Lego amusement park, uh, Six Figs. And one of the things I'm doing since I've moved everything to my new studio is I'm going to use Mindstorms to build my own custom rides. So yes, I'm gonna still have the Lego roller coaster and all the fun stuff like that, but I'm gonna use this stuff to build my own stuff. And I'm going to need to figure out, for instance, here's a vehicle with a sensor. How do we build one of those? Um, here's, you know, how do I make something that flaps like wings? How can I do that? And very easily, I can take a, um, Yoshihito's book and I can just go into, uh, you know, how to use sensors how to use a color sensor, that sort of thing. Um, and so I can start to use my Mindstorms kit to build stuff for my city, Figsdale, to build stuff for my Lego amusement park, Six Figs, um, and everything like that. And so you, Yoshihito does a great job of just, just basically like, you know, there's a moving mechanism. You wanna build something that moves. And so you're not necessarily, you know, building a guitar or a pinball machine or something like that, like you would from Danny's book. What you're really doing is learning a whole bunch of tips and tricks on how to use the Robot Inventor Kit to build whatever the heck you want to build and the types of mechanisms that you could build for it. So I would recommend this book to anyone who is interested in going out and venturing out on their own, perhaps building some stuff for their own mocks, um, you know, maybe making a bird with wings that fly or whatever, I would recommend the Lego Mindstorms Robot Inventor book by Yoshihito Isokawa anytime um, because this book will teach you techniques, tips, and tricks. And he also has a YouTube channel. I will link that in the description below. So don't forget to check his channel out as well as Danny's channel out. Um, between these two books, I would say having both of these in your Lego library um, would be beneficial if you are a Lego Mindstorms robot inventor person, if you have this kit, or if you're thinking about getting this kit, these books are a definite must have for this because you get this, but Lego doesn't tell you much about the kit, about the set, that sort of thing. This spurs the imagination. This gets your juices flowing. This says, you know what? I can make a uh, ride that lifts people into the air and drops them. Or I can make a ride that, uh, you know, spins people around kind of in a in what we used to call the Himalayan ride, you know, kind of goes up and down. You can make an octopus type of ride with pods that move around. You could do all that stuff that you've wanted to do from an amusement park standpoint, or even just from a city standpoint to do certain things in your city, like garage doors that open up automatically, things like that. You can do all of that because this spurs the imagination. This helps you to learn the different tips and techniques as you build the uh, the things that Danny uh, builds in his in his book, and it tells you the why, what's behind, what's behind the concepts and stuff like that. So these two books, please pick them up at your store where fine books are sold or go to nostartspress.com. And that is my review of those two books. And now I'm going to get back to building a couple of uh, rides for Six Figs Amusement Park. Um, so with that, this is Dr. McBrick signing out.